Okay, guys, it's two and walking home from the walk, trying to exercise. Um, so I went out with my friend, chilled at his house. The most thing I like spending time at, um, talking about his situation, what he's going through, and stuff like that. And I talk about like the Bible with him, the Christ, and stuff like that. I mentioned God and the Bible. Of course, everybody trying to throw that like oh it's god it's um man wrote the bible it's a bunch of bull crap you could say because they know like well the bible convicts you of your sin so they always throw that little line in there the bible is written by man and i keep saying here the same thing over and over again over over the same stuff around unbelievers that just want to have excuse for their like folly and stuff so they don't um own up to god and stuff like that but i did talk to him about god and stuff like that talk about him like reading the gospels and stuff like that and um going to the um to strip club and all that type of weird, crazy stuff that's not gonna satisfy you in life it's really not just a bunch of like lustful stuff for a certain time only lasts for a minute and then you're back to your stressful your stressful um ways again about thinking about the same stuff stressful things it's not gonna satisfy you like jesus christ is gonna satisfy you and that's what the thing they don't get when you talk about oh you're just mental and all this type of stuff well we judge everything we judge like things in the world we have to say like this is wrong and this is that wrong why this is wrong and this and that so there's a righteous there's a righteous judgment that we're allowed to make as christians it's not bad to be being particularly judgmental because if you're not allowed to say anything's wrong they're basically saying that you're not allowed to say anything what they do is bad so they have excuse to do it. And that's not what the Bible says. We're supposed to make righteous judgment about things. And if we're not allowed to, then there's something wrong. Because we make judgments about everything. They make judgments about me. Hypocritical. They're hypocritical. They're hypocritical because you said, like, you judge me by saying, like, I'm judgmental. You judge me about things. You judge. There's a whole things about judgmental stuff. Like, and you're talking about, oh, we can't be judgmental. Well, you're hypocritical. Because we make judgments every, like, in situations and stuff like that. It's crazy. You really, like, read the Bible and ask God to give you wisdom and understanding. You will understand that wouldn't be saying stuff like that but these people are so going off of that stuff they don't want to listen to god they want to go their own ways and stuff like that and i know like you're not saved by stopping sin you're not saved by you're not saved by salvation by stopping having sex and all that type of stuff you're not saved by stopping smoking weed you're not saved by not participating in stuff you're saved by putting your faith in Jesus Christ and faith alone in Christ. And once you put your faith alone in Christ and believe on him, and then if you're really saved and repent, um, hear, like, give you that new perceptive of change of mind of how you think of view things. Of, like, you used to think, like, going to the strip club was cool. But here it gives you a mind, a perceptive of how. Here it gives you a new mind. And be like, I don't even want to go to the strip club no more. Because I feel like this isn't my for me. I won't have the same mindset as I thought it was cool with going to the strip club. Because he gives you a new mindset when you really put your faith in him. And that's how he did to me. And I swear to God. And I swear that he's still working on me. It's a long process 
it's not an easy process. I still have struggles. I still have um, stuff. I mess up at times. And that's why he asks us to forgive us of our sins and go to him at the cross, though. And I'm not asking people to stop their sin. I'm not asking people to stop their sin. I'm asking them to put their faith in Christ and to, like, just read the Bible and see where it leads you. The Gospels. And see how Jesus done in the Gospels and stuff like that. You know? And that's where I was telling the guy. And he's like, all this crazy stuff. Like, I'm just trying to, like, be caring and look out for him. Like, not put his mindset on the girl that hurt him. Because... You can't rely on that stuff like forever. You have to learn from your mistakes and the people you dealt with that hurt you. Learn from your mistakes and do better. And pray to God to help you find the right people. He needs Christ. He doesn't need to rely on worrying about another relationship he needs to worry about healing about his situation and that's all i want for him because i care about him as a person i care about him um and that's the guy i met like i was talking about i was gonna hang out with but he wanted me to come home early and i wanted to like stay with him i don't know I just want to be with a guy, a Christian man. And I know this guy is not a Christian. And it's okay, because we're not to turn our nose up to non-believers. We're supposed to, like, show them examples of Christ. And if they don't see it, call it judgmental, that's on them. Like, I'm not being judgmental. I'm just trying to speak the truth. And people hate the truth. And they talk about your judgmental. That's not what I'm trying to be. Like, I don't know what other things to speak to him about about realness and talk about him just mental. Like, it's ridiculous. And he's mad at me. He's mad at me. Judgmental. Yeah, whatever. I'm not judgmental to him. But I'm going to pray for him. Um, well, um... I am, um, I'm not dating nobody. Some guy in the comments said I'm dating somebody. I'm not dating anybody. But I believe that I'm supposed to like witness to unbelievers, not turn my nose up to them, not act like I don't want to talk to them, just not participate in their behavior, you know? At bad behavior as the the bad stuff I'm not supposed to participate in but I'm supposed to like be an example of Christ to them and show them love and stuff like that and be not participate in the stuff they do but guys I'm not dating nobody I'm single still single I haven't found a guy that um, deserves me as a Christian man a Christian man that knows how to treat a woman that wants exactly me and wants all my time and not on no other woman, not on no other woman's body, just me, and wants to focus on Christ. That's what it's all about. Not no man that wants to watch porn, none of that crap that unbelievers are in. And um, I'm looking for a man that's into God deeply. And that wants to be into one woman and focus on one woman, one woman enough for him. And he doesn't have to be focused on any other woman because he's so focused on the woman, me. And that's how a real man's supposed to be acting like. And he won't let no other woman want to see no woman's body distract him 
because he's so focused on me and God. God, he's focused on God, first of all, before me. And then he's focused on me and trying to provide for me and help me and guide me and give me guidance, you know? He understands where I'm coming from me and he understands what the the um, advice I'm trying to give him. He doesn't say crazy stuff. Like I'm judgmental and all that weird stuff, you know? But yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, um, but still, I'm working on my apartment and everything. I'm trying to find an apartment out here. I'm trying so hard. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't find nowhere to live out here. And I'm still at the shelter. I have to the summer um, knife to find an apartment. Um, I pray that I find something soon. If not, I'm going to have to go to another state, guys, because I don't know what to do. Like, I'm really struggling. And they're not giving me my um, my food stamps for some reason. And I don't have no money. I have to put all my money towards the apartment and try to find somewhere to live. I don't have enough money to buy food and stuff like that. And I don't know why they stopped my stamps and stuff like that. Like, it's crazy what I'm going through out here. Nobody doesn't understand, like, I'm struggling out here. And nobody's trying to help me. My aunt turned against me over a stupid situation. It's not Christ-like. It's not Christ-like one bit. Because Christ, he has a different mindset. You know how Christ really thinks. He's not going to do that. A way these humans act, turn against you over one situation because of a decision you made. And stuff like that, you know? Like, my aunt could be like, Okay, Amy, yeah, I forgive you for staying out all night. And I understand your situation that you didn't feel comfortable coming back here. And I'm sorry for that. It wasn't a big deal. Like, why did she have to, like, call the cops on me like I was trouble or something? Like, this lady, there's something wrong with these family members that I came in the world to. And I wish my dad was alive because he would have treated me better than my mother, my birth mother. He made sure I had everything I needed when I was a child. And then my mom was, used to say, like, she talked about how she keep me away from my dad. And I think that's evil because he made sure that I had stuff I needed. He took care of me and everything. But somebody killed him. And she didn't do nothing for me. All she did was give me up to my grandmother, and my grandmother abused me all my life, and I have nobody in my life. My uncles sexually molested me. I've been through a lot of stuff, like hurt and damage, and I don't have a normal mindset because of that damage. It corrupt my mind, kind of corrupt my mind because how I function, being through traumatizing and stuff like that. And nobody doesn't understand that. Like, it's ridiculous. And you're talking about, I'm psychotic. Like, she's like a... She is so wrong. I'm sorry. Their whole family's wrong. And I don't want nothing to do with them. I'm sorry. And if I got to go to another state, it's cool with me. Because I don't even care no matter what happens. It doesn't matter. But I know God's in control. So, yeah. But y'all can keep praying for me and stuff like that. Whatever. Anyway, I gotta go, guys. Bye. I'll talk to you later.